my friends. I'm Phil Karlowski, the super brave teacher, and today I want to talk to all of you about the joy of monotasking. Yes, friends, I am Jill Karlowski, the super brave teacher. I just lit my tobacco candle. I love me a tobacco candle. They're my favorite. I love this. I love this. I love this. And yes, friends, super brave teacher, what I do, I'm on a mission to tip Google, YouTube, and the world in a radically positive and accepting way for all LGBTQ plus teachers, students, and folk like me. I'm on a mission. Thanks for watching this video. I very much appreciate it. And I appreciate you. Now, I hope you noticed that I did not call this video the art of monotasking because this guy is not an artist of monotasking. I love monotasking, but I'm nowhere near an artist of it. I'm no near I am nowhere near a person who can say, every day I monotask and everything is just one thing at a time, one thing. Have you ever watched teachers? Have you ever watched teachers? While I am teaching, there are 23 beautiful, 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 brave kids coming up to me all the time or raising their hand or asking for things or needing things and you're constantly shifting, adjusting, noticing what, who they are, what they need by their name, strength, interest, and need and all these beautiful things and you're shifting, 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 shifting and you're multitasking. It's impossible, impossible to get away with it as a teacher. And... I have been trying my best to get into the habit of being mindfully aware of everything I'm doing and enjoying it one thing at a time. So when I get in my classroom, instead of, okay, putting on a podcast and doing, having my like to-do list and doing things, okay, running to the copier while drinking my whatever and all these things, I just do one thing at a time, at least during the times of the day when I can, when I have control, let's say, of those situations. So I come in the room, drink my coffee, I sit down, look at my little to-do list, and I say, hmm, how am I gonna do this one step at a time? I put on some common music, I turn on the lights in my room, I water the plants, I set out different things, and I just go one at a time through my checklist. I even have gotten the habit of making sure that like I schedule meetings with myself during that time. So at least at certain days of the week, I know that my morning time is just my time with myself when I can do one thing at a time. And that goes for my preps too. So when I have my prep, I start every prep doing one thing, which is my mindfulness. And then I just have my little to-do list and I just do one thing at a time. Because I was getting to the point where I was eating lunch while we're responding to emails. I was updating the blog while talking to a kid, while making sure that this is happening and it was getting to be too much. And I noticed that it was sh shifting my personality in a way that I did not like. I was becoming someone who was more reactive instead of responsive. I was someone who was more reactive instead of proactive. I was someone who was more reactive and tense instead of just calm and pleasant to be around. And I'm talking about being around myself. Like I'm not even talking about the kids or other people at work. I'm talking about myself, just doing one thing at a time. It's that whole idea, like I said before, of when is the last time you just drank a cup of coffee to enjoy it? When's the last time you just lit a candle to enjoy it? When's the last time you just did one thing at a time and really enjoyed just that one thing? And like I said, I'm gonna call myself on it because I love putting on a podcast, doing some housework, all these things. And like, okay, I'm gonna go around and do this while well, this is happening, da, 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 and I'm gonna set a time and I wonder if I can do this in 35 minutes and 32 seconds. Yeah, I'm, I can be like that sometimes. But to say to myself, A, do you have to do it that way? And B, what would it look like? What would it sound like? What would it feel like if you would just do one thing at a time? So friends, I encourage you to continue to do one thing at a time with me it's impossible, I found for myself anyway, to do that all day long, every second of every day. But the more I start breaking these habits of multitasking and celebrating myself for multitasking, getting so much done at the same time, 
I can just slow down, be present, be here now, be 100% Joel, show up, and do one thing at a time. So rock out the one thing at a time, friends. Rock out the mono tasking, because if it's multitasking, it's really just mini mono tasks, and that gets you nowhere. Trust me, trust me, I'm a recovering, <laughs> I'm a recovering multitasker. So friends, like I say, every time at this video, on these videos, you are enough. You are awesome. You're special. You're incredible. You're lovely. You're adorable. Because you are you. That's it. You are you. Thank you, friends. And Joel, I'm proud of you. Keep showing up. Keep being you one, one thing at a time. One step at a time. Bye, friends.